There have been so many iterations of Superman in different storylines and alternate universes in the past decades. Sometimes he is stronger and sometimes he is weaker. And sometimes he has weird powers such as super weaving and rainbow beams. Clark Kent, the mask behind Superman, may have had different phases, but his origin story remains. His life has been retold in several ways, yet we still gorge in any adaptation. So, in this video, we will enumerate the versions of post-crisis Superman, who was even more powerful than the usual. However, we will only tackle Clark Kent or Kal-El and not the other names who donned the title of Superman, like Connor Kent, Christopher Kent, Cal Kent, or any of Superman's descendants. Let's begin. First one is when he became a Yellow Lantern. In the Injustice Gods Among Us Year 2 comic series published in 2014, Ganthet, one of the guardians of the universe, creators of the Green Lantern Corps, has been monitoring Earth as Superman has become a dictator and created the One Earth Regime. Ganthet meets with Superman and asks him to stop controlling Earth. Superman became furious that Ganthet would lecture him on responsibility after allowing the destruction of Krypton. Ganthet then asks Kilowog to form a team to apprehend Superman. But Superman and Sinestro and his core have joined forces and detained Kilowog's team. Ganthet then brought numerous Green Lanterns to Earth. War ensued between the Yellow and Green Lanterns. Ganthet decimated the Yellow Lanterns. While Yellow Lanterns were falling and since Superman is now stimulating fear, a Yellow Power Ring flew right to him and made him a Yellow Lantern. Superman then killed Dino Lance, aka Black Canary, in front of live TV and billions of people were horrified. Because the Yellow Lantern is getting its power from fear, the fear of billions who watched him kill on live TV gave him extreme power to withstand the attack from Ganthet. War further escalates as Mogo, the living planet who is also a very powerful Green Lantern, fires a massive attack on Superman. Superman also survived the attack from Mogo. Superman shoved Ganthet into Mogo while pushing them both into space. He further pushed Ganthet into Mogo's core and plunged them both into the sun. Ganthet and Mogo were instantly killed. Next is the Superman from Kingdom Come comic series published in 1996. Set a few decades in the future, Superman is older but much wiser and stronger than his younger self. As explained by Lex Luthor, because of absorbing solar radiation for several decades, kryptonite is no longer affecting him. His physical strength is illustrated to be limitless in this story. The only entity that can rival him is the Jam or Captain Marvel with his magical abilities. Because of age, all of his sensory powers are much heightened and he can function without the yellow sun since he had a lot of solar power already stored in him. He can also tunnel through Earth's core in less than 5 seconds. On the final climactic scenes of the series, he would stood a multi-megaton nuclear explosion right after fighting Captain Marvel. Kingdom Come Superman is Superman at his finest. Uh, I invited another friend, I hope that's okay. Next is All-Star Superman. Published in 2005 and also as an animated movie in 2011, All-Star Superman is a Superman with cancer but is also three times stronger than most versions of the Big Blue. Dr. Leo Quintum and his team of astronauts were exploring the sun when they were sabotaged by a time bomb made by Lex Luthor. Superman stops the bomb but in doing so catches an overdose of solar radiation. This overexposure multiplied his powers but at the cost of slowly killing him. His cells are oversaturated with power and bursting from within. Under Earth's gravity, All-Star Superman can press 200 quintillion tons. In theory, he could certainly pull planets since matters in space only weigh 0.001 in comparison to how they would weigh on Earth. Even there is another gravitational force pulling it back. Also, because of the exposure, this could be the first time that we saw Superman extend his bioelectric force field when he was saving Dr. Quintum.
Next is Green Lantern Superman. In the 2000 Elseworlds miniseries titled Superman Last Son of Earth, Superman's origin was twisted by writer Steve Gerber. Jonathan Kent, an astrophysicist on Earth, discovered that Earth was going to be hit by a meteor. He assembled a spaceship that would get his son out of the planet before it was demolished by the deep impact of the meteor. Baby Clark arrived on Krypton where he was embraced by the House of El. Here, he was given the name of Kal-El. An older Clark will then receive a Green Lantern ring, which would enable him to save Krypton from its destruction. After learning about Earth as his birth planet, he came back and realized when he discovered that being raised in Krypton gave him amazing power and super strength. So, with the power of Superman combined with the Green Lantern, he helped the survivors of the post-Armageddon Earth in fighting evil forces and became its hero as well. I defend this sector, Kent. I'm the hero Earth needs. Only one way to find out. Up next is Superman as a Herald of Galactus. In Superman Fantastic Four Volume 1 published in 1999, Hank Henshaw aka Cyborg Superman discovered an interdimensional probe sent by Galactus to monitor Superman as a possible herald. With the goal of becoming a herald himself, Henshaw altered the probe to appear as a final transmission from Jor-El blaming Galactus for the destruction of Krypton. Superman then traveled to the Marvel Universe to find the Fantastic Four. Once there, Henshaw attacked, but Galactus intervened. Galactus then imbued Superman with the Power Cosmic and made him his new Harbinger. The Power Cosmic is the name of an enormous source of immeasurable godly cosmic energy and power principally wielded by the godlike cosmic entity called Galactus. The Power Cosmic consents Galactus to utilize the obtainable absorbed cosmic energies within him to generate practically any effect he desires including molecular restructuring, size alteration, telepathy, teleportation of worlds and galaxies across time and space, transmutation of matter, telekinesis, force fields creation, creation of interdimensional portals, and cosmic knowledge on a limitless scale. In some stories, Galactus is also presented to have the capability of resurrecting the dead, creating life, remaking dead worlds, and manipulating mortal souls. Of course, each herald had a different version of the power cosmic, but even a small portion of this power has gotten to Superman, it is definitely momentous. This. Lastly, we have Superman 1 Million. Published in November 1998, DC 1 Million featured a version of the Justice League from the 853rd century. Here, Clark Kent, aka Superman Prime 1 million, still lives. The massive Kryptonian powers that made him Superman also made him fundamentally immortal. He outlived his parents, his friends, and then even his wife, Lois Lane. Still serving as the world's principal defender, he started to show desolation. He then left Earth after passing responsibilities to Superman Secundus. He traversed the entire universe, going beyond even time and space, and has even said to have gotten to as far as heaven and hell. His voyages started from the 21st century and ended somewhere at the turn of the 700th century. During this journey, he obtained numerous abilities from across the universe. When he came back to Earth, he created a covenant with his descendants. He will bequeath them a small portion of his power as long as they serve for truth and justice. After that, he left and returned to the center of the Super Sun and spent 15,000 years there. The time he spent in the Super Sun amplified his already great power to probably infinite levels. His strength and other immeasurable abilities he acquired also rose to extreme levels. Many interpreted that this is the most godlike version of Superman. With the help of the Superman of the Fifth Dimension and Our Man, he resurrected his beloved Lois Lane. A silver Lois Lane and golden Superman Prime were reunited and made him complete once more. He is also believed to have recreated his own planet, Krypton. You will give the people of Earth an ideal to strive towards. So there you have it, the more powerful versions of Clark Kent Superman. Do you think there are other versions that are more powerful? Tell us in the comments below and hit subscribe.